Advertising and promotion seems like a funny phrase, but it's really the textbook definition in a profit loss statement or QuickBooks. And so advertising and promotion is all of the advertisements that you do for your business. Think magazines and um, postcards and Facebook ads. So those are all in advertising and promotions. If you are spending money to promote your business, it goes in advertising and promotions. Remember the most important thing to consider with your profit loss statement is consistent and predictable. So a vehicle wrap would be advertising and promotions. So we wanna think about when we put together all the things that we do for our business, where category are we gonna put it in? Is it consistent? Is it the same place every time? And is it predictable? Does it make sense? Wouldn't make sense to put a vehicle wrap in office supplies, but it would make sense to put it in advertising and promotions. So are we putting the same thing in the same place every time? That's the most important thing to consider. What you want to look out for with advertising and promotions is how much you're spending in marketing. Now this ranges wildly from market to market, but I can give you some general guidelines. If you are a brand new business and you're hyper, hyper for growth mode, you're trying really hard to scale your business. I've seen people get all the way upwards to 50 to 75% of their um, sales in advertising. But there's, these are people that are gonna go from zero to seven or multiple seven figures in a 12 to 18 month period of time. Generally speaking, if you're starting out and you're trying to go from zero to half a million or zero to maybe three quarters of a million dollars, you wanna be between, in the first year, uh, 10 to 25% in marketing, depending on your industry. 10% if you are a material business, if you're a painter, you're a concrete coatings company, you're a handyman and you've got materials, 10% is a really good place if you're having steady, consistent growth. If you're a seasoned business, you've got a, a very robust, active database and you're not in growth mode, I've seen companies go down to two or 3%. I always like to recommend using 1% of your advertising and promotions budget on your existing clients. So if you've got a database of a thousand clients and your sales goal is a million dollars, try to spend about $10,000 on your existing clients as gift bags, thank you cards, service reminder cards, emails, text messages, referral gifts, Make sure that you're giving back to your existing customers to keep top of mind for every single person in your database.